do you have solid fats in your diet that you could replace with plant-based liquid oils instead? Could you reduce the portions of the um, amount of fats that you're doing in your diet? And one of the easiest way to do that is to not do fried foods. Um, and then generally speaking, how is your omega-3 fatty acid um, intake? So are you a fish eater? And if so, could you include it two times a week, but not fried? So I live in the South and when we talk about eating fish, of course it's fried. So I have to really make sure that I qualify. Don't fry it. But if you've got another way that you could consume it and if you don't eat fish, could you look at some of those other sources? Supplementation with omega-3 can happen. We don't have quite the best like dosing recommendations from the government on that, but particularly for high risk groups, which I consider pregnant women and lactating women, um, because omega-3 is so important in brain development when babies are growing in the womb and then um, in that first year of life, first two years of life, that might be a time for supplementation. So we've all seen fish oils out there, supplements out there. We've um, There's algae-based supplements too. So if you're vegan or vegetarian, you don't want to include that or have an allergy, um, that might be an option as well.